Good morning, everybody. I had to figure out some new lighting setup. As you can see, we've redone our office. So I'm not sitting and talking to you right now. I am standing. So if you want to see that, check out my personal Facebook and you will see a little revamp I did in my office. So a quick update about our neighbors that are being built. If you've been watching and staying tuned to and tracking their progress, they are at framing stage. Uh, I cannot remember if last week they had already started framing. I believe they were just starting. Um, and I was hoping that they would be done by Friday, which is kind of a little ambitious, I think. So last week they started framing and they finished on Friday with the framing in the basement done. I don't think they're doing the basement being finished. They have the um, main floor done. We thought it was a bungalow. I think it was, that's what I was talking about, speculating as well during the week. Um, the main floor was done and I looked at the layout thinking there's no way this could be a bungalow. There's not enough room for everybody there. And then they put the second floor up. So on Friday, right by our bathroom, actually, this is the side that faces their house. I can see right into the house right now because they didn't build that final corner in the back of the house. Now, why is that? Well, it's going to be an open to above. So they haven't put the stairs in yet. I believe they're working on that today. And so they left that open and my guess is because they need the space to be able to put in the stairs and all that stuff but they finished the second floor and have the exterior walls up on the second floor and the interior walls are done so i thought i would talk a little bit about what happens at the framing stage um, for anyone who is looking to build it's an exciting time because you see actual things happening uh you see that there's the form of the house is starting to appear instead of just the big hole in the ground and the concrete structure in the basement. So what happens at framing stage is they put in all the framing in the basement first in terms of the, like they have the window frames out, like in terms of the concrete, there's then framing on top for the windows and all that kind of stuff. They put the floor joists in and that's why we suspected it was a bungalow because we only saw one set of floor joists. We didn't see the second set of floor joists for the second floor. It just came afterwards. So they put the floor joists in, then they put the plywood on top, then they put the exterior walls. They actually built them, these guys built them and then on the ground and then raised them up. Uh, not sure if that's standard. I'm not a framer, just giving you my observations. And then after they put the exterior walls up, they put all the wood inside and do the interior walls. They were building the stairs for the downstairs to the basement. And then they also built the, put the floor joists for the second floor and then built up that way. Now the roof isn't on yet. And I'm suspecting that's what they'll be doing this week. So they've got to do the interior walls on the second floor. The roof then goes up and then they're done. So it's exciting to see this, the transition of the house kind of occur in place. If you have questions, make sure to comment below as to like what you think happens at framing stage. I know that it's just, it's all the wood, right? So after that's done, then the mechanical starts. And then there's things that now from the outside, if you're just driving by and stopping your house, it's now seeming to seem like it's stalling because you can't see inside anymore. Um, now I want to talk to you about new versus old. We are sitting in, winter right now and if you are living currently in a newer home I want you to make sure that you're always moving your curtains up because if you don't homes that are new are built to be completely airtight so if you're moving from an old house to a new house something to remember and write down and think about is you want to make sure that the house windows or the the window coverings are lifted so that you don't have condensation because the things are so airtight things get really like just nothing wants to come in or out and you want to be able to let your window coverings let open and let it breathe so that you're not having water built up and a lot of people freak out when they see the ice on the side but that's because water is building up and then it's cold outside so then it freezes so make sure that you do that um, in the older homes it doesn't hurt to do that either but the newer homes have less air leaking out so you want to make sure you do that um, in terms of winter and summer in new and old houses new homes do have more insulation they have the hrv system the heat recovery ventilation system so if you want fresh air in and push the old air out turn on your hrv it's not just for when you're using the bathroom or having a shower it's literally for 
bringing fresh air in without opening the window. So that's another advantage of an HRV system and a new home. And the HRV systems are mandatory in Edmonton as code. So make sure you run your HRV system. It'll help bring that in. Something I learned last week, I filmed videos with new uh, Effect Homes, who's a new builder for net zero and energy efficient homes, is that there are different types of HRV systems. And the HRV system that depending on what kind you get, some will be more efficient than others at stripping heat out so that when you're you're not reheating the massive difference so if you're bringing in like for example if you opened up the window to let fresh air in you got cold minus 10 degree weather coming in and if you're heating your house at 20 plus the furnace is now going to try to heat that minus 10 to 20. so it's pumping extra heat versus if you turn on the hrv system it's drawing in the fresh air into that system it's not bringing it it's bringing in minus 10 but it's warming it up a little bit before it comes in so that you're not actually needing to warm it up in the house. So the HRV system is definitely a very handy tool in the new homes. Now, new home by Christmas and Black Friday, I wanna talk about this because with the new builders, there are a lot of sales right now happening because of Black Friday. And we all know Black Friday happens on this coming Friday, but the sales started last Friday, just like a lot of other retail stores. If you have questions about them, let me know. There's some sales that are legit sales where things are actually on sale, and there's other sales that are just probably marketing. So if you wanna know the truth about if the sale is actually a good Black Friday sale for that house, let me know. Homes that are already completed by the builder right now, you can move in by Christmas, it is still possible. Um, it is November 23rd right now. December 18th would be your last possession date. So it all depends on the builder and what their timeline and schedule is open. But I know that everyone's motivated to get those last sales in before the end of the year. And I know there's a big looming question about what's going to happen in terms of things being shut down or not or whatnot. All we're doing is living each day by day, just like we have since March, because there's no idea for us to know or speculate. So we just got to act quickly. So if you have any questions about that, let me know. And we will talk to you soon. Thanks so much for watching. We'll talk to you guys next week.